Ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, what you're staring at actually works. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery R32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button, that 60 card button, as we climb even higher, the 1500 ladder. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about this because I wanted to keep this in the tuck under the radar because literally 10 seconds before I started filming, I wanted to look up to see if anyone else was talking about this, and no one else is talking about it, and so I figured, you know what? I'm going to just put it out there. It's bound to encourage somebody to mess around with this. Um, I'm going to keep messing around with it, but I want other people in on this because I may take this to YCS Orlando. It's either going to be that or Exodia, and I'm leaning more towards this because I just tried Exodia and I got blown out two matches in a row because I bricked, so I just rage quit. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about this. This is Primite Paleozoic. So the reason why I say that this works is because when you look at all of the paleo monsters, whichever one you look at, an, uh, o, uh, Olenoidus, uh, Dynamiscus, uh, Liancholio, whatever you, however you pronounce these names, uh, Canadia, all of these paleos are normal monsters. And so that instantly feeds into the cards uh, that you can use with this deck in regards to Primite. So let's talk about some of these cards here because people Ash Blossom Primite howl all the time and misplay, and it's so funny. <laughs> so Primite, another barrel, is the new Primite monster out of Supreme Darkness. Its effect says if this card is normal summoned, unfortunately it has to be normal summoned, not just normal or special, you can set one Primite Speller Trap from your deck. You can only use each of the following effects of another barrel once per turn. You contribute this card to send a normal monster from your deck to the graveyard during your standby phase. If you have a normal monster on your field or in your grave, you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand. Well, guess what? You activate a trap card, you summon out a Paleo, get to your next standby phase, you can get the barrel back to your hand, whether it's because you dumped it with uh, Reasoning, Card of Demise, uh, That Grass Looks Greener, aka That Ass Looks Thicker. Um, this card is just absolutely insane. Being able to get you to Primite Drill Beam, which is essentially a Fiendsmith Disarray. Being able to get you to Primite Howl, which can get you out Squatter, so that gives you a vanilla to make this live. Or you can activate it Engrave with its Engrave effect. So let's let's talk about this card. So you declare a normal monster card name. You take no battle damage from battles involving your declared normal monsters or your Primite monsters for the rest of this turn. Then if you control no monsters, you can special summon a declared monster, the one of the declared normal monster from your deck or grave. So I see people misplay with this all the time whenever I activate it and declare a normal monster because then my opponent will instantly ash it when I have a body on the field. I'm like, thank you. You just blew away your Ash Blossom. Uh, and then it's engrave effect is what's the best thing. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one normal monster you control or in your graveyard. Take control of one monster your opponent controls with higher attack than that monster until the end phase. All of your paleos are normal monsters with 1200 fucking attack, so you can pretty much take any card in the game unless it's against you, Bell, and they have a zero attack monster. Here's why this is good. You activate it to summon out your squatter from deck or grave, so you're deck thinning and you're also putting a body up to make your drill beam live. Uh, it's a 2000 attack beat stick. And if you have barrel up, then maybe there's something there that you can do with like a link two or a rank four line. But what's also nice too is that you can activate this on field even if you don't summon anything. You can just chain a paleo to summon uh, to summon it out. Then with your howl in the graveyard, and it's also a normal trap, so you can roll back it. You can use the howl's in grave effect to banish it target your paleo and then take control of an opponent's monster and what's funny too is that I, so many people misplay because they think that you permanently take control of it or like you can take control during your own turn it's only during the opponent's turn and then they get the card right back now you might be thinking well Avery that's not really good because if you don't get to permanently keep the card what's the point point? and it's the fact that it can mess up the opponent's combo lines you know if you're sitting with a 2000 attack monster on the field or maybe you've got like a toad you know you've got your soul of the supreme king you've got your board built up you use the to like take their Fenrir whenever they activate a monster effect then you can use the Fenrir to banish it you take you know some sort of negate monster or you know an Omni negate whatever that you can take there are a lot of niche interactions with this using rollback on it to special summon a vanilla isn't as important but the fact that you can activate this and call a vanilla and then just not take any battle damage with your primite monster is nice uh, and then drill beam you reveal a primite card or a normal monster in your hand except drill beam or if you control a normal monster or a level five or higher primite except a token you can
can activate this effect without revealing a card. Then target one face-up card on the field, negate its effects, and if you do banish it during your main phase, if you control a Prime Might monster, you can set this card from your graveyard. You can only use each effect once per turn. So you normal summon the Drill Beam, you set, say, how You've got Drill Beam in your graveyard because you milled it. You can then set it to the field, and you have a Disarray Negate on the field, which is really good. So if you have this set, and like let's say you don't have a Prime Might, you can activate the Howl, summon out your Vanilla. You can do it in, like say, the draw phase, and now your uh, Omni Negate, your Negate and Banish, rather, or like a, similar to a Disarray, is now online. And this throws so many people off. So we are playing for the vanilla, the shiny Black Sea Squatter. The reason why we're doing this is because it's a uh, level 4 insect with 2,000 attack. So since it's an insect, you can use Trap Tricks Allure on it. If you open it, you can pitch it and then draw 2. And then for whatever reason it gets banished, you can use the Allure to banish itself to put the Sea Squatter on the bottom. Uh, 3 copies of Barrel with 3 copies of the Backjack. That's pretty standard. Uh, 1 Grass looks greener three allure one reasoning one card demise and two drill beam we're not playing roar because roar really isn't all that great you can banish it from the grave whenever the opponent normal summons to to then target a normal monster on your field or grave and then banish a monster on the field with less attack than it but it has to be when the opponent normal summons so unless they're playing flunder they're only going to normal summon once they're only going to have one monster the paleos only have 1200 so you're probably not gonna be able to banish a monster on the opponent's field um and you also have to pay 2,000 life points. And if you decide to go with the Supreme uh, Soul of the Supreme King engine, you're already paying half your life points for that. Plus, you're already paying half with rollbacks. So you really don't want to be a dead draw. I'd rather have the Drill Beam Negators. And then for the traps, we're playing um, three Leon Cholia, uh, three Rollback, three Wabaku, three Rise to Full Height, three Ice Dragon's Prison, three Karma Cannon, three of the Olenoidus, uh, three Dynamiscus, three Howl, one Elemental Burst, because we're bursting into Master Rank on Master Shits. I'm just kidding. You know we don't play that game. Uh, three Morelia, two Balance of Judgment, three Trap Trick, three Needle Bug, three Soul of the Supreme King, and then three of the Canadia. Uh, side deck is really whatever you want, but we're playing three Lava, three Scatter Shot, three Different Dimension Ground, three Witch's Strike with two D Barrier and a blaze accelerator reload uh and then we're playing the since we're playing the soul of the supreme king we are messing around with that package so we're playing one odd eyes arc ray one zark uh one brave eyes pendulum one starving venom uh one crazy clear wing one sky thunder one odd eyes rebellion exceeds one dragon overlord uh one downward magician one paleozoic anoma Karis, i guess that's how you pronounce it one toad one opabina one ninja shadow mosquito one of the camp roster and then one anima you know in case you decide to normal summon a back jack you can make the anima and then you know uh organize the top three i was about to say excavate which technically that's what it does but whatever um so the reason why i'm kind of stuck with this deck is because there's definitely something here i just don't know how to go about it what i'm really stuck with right now is now that i just saw that another um 60 card paleo pile was only playing two wabaku i'm tempted to cut wabaku i'm tempted to cut the supreme king soul package i'm even tempted to possibly cut the vanilla because you don't necessarily need the vanilla. It just it gives Howl less value to where it's basically only good in the graveyard. And you're already playing Elemental Burst, which is pretty much a brick if you don't have a lure. So playing four cards that you absolutely want to allure um, because they don't do much would feel kind of meh. Um, I've also considered maybe cutting Backjack down to two, maybe cutting the um, Primite uh, Barrel down to, uh, to two, you know, cut one out or even cut two out, whatever the case may be, and playing some sort of other normal monster engine, especially with the uh, Soul of the Supreme King, where if there's some sort of other trap card, normal trap out there that like facilitates plays with normal monsters even if it's like a trap monster which these trap monsters the paleos aren't treated as traps um but through my testing it doesn't seem like you can use primite howl to declare the uh paleos when they're on field because even though they're not treated as a trap they're technically not i guess declarable normal monsters because you have to declare a normal monster card name so they're i guess technically traps but they're treated as monsters i don't know it's really weird it could just be a bug on edo pro side um but if it turns out that you can use howl to call say like paleozoic dynamiscus and you've got it in attack mode then you don't take any battle damage so like let's say your dynamiscus it, it's now unaffected by monster effects by its own effect and then or its own trap effect rather and then the howl would prevent any damage that's just a little niche thing it's kind of whatever but it seems like you can't call that you have to actually call an actual vanilla like beaver warrior blue eyes something like that but 
I just don't know if there's another engine that we could maybe play to like make this better because there's absolutely something here. When you go grass and you mill a bunch of cards, especially like if you hit sea squatter and barrel, all you have to do is survive to the next turn and then on your standby phase, you're going to get the barrel back. That's going to get you to drill beam if you didn't already mill it off of grass or reasoning, whatever, or it can get you to howl, which you can activate at any time to trigger a paleo in the grave. Like at the very least, even if you don't play the vanilla, even though the howl becomes less valuable, in a sense, it's still valuable because it's a free trap that you can activate to then chain a paleo to summon, which puts a vanilla up, which makes your howls in grave effect live. So just by getting one paleo in grave, you activate howl. Well, now you're going to be able to take a control of an opponent's monster and mess up their their board so there's absolutely something here i don't see anybody talking about it i've seen a bunch of comments on youtube saying like try this with paleo cards try this with paleo cards and then nobody fucking tries it i guess because the Yu-Gi-Oh player base is lazy i don't know <laughs> but there's absolutely something here you can't tell me that like how many paleos are there in the game like 18 you can't tell me having 18 normal monsters and being able to do something with them with Primite cards just doesn't exist because something it absolutely exists here. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, like I said, I'm just testing for YCS Orlando at this point. This format's dog water. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.